The scale of the damage from major flooding in northern and central Victoria is becoming clearer as affected residents begin returning to their homes. While all emergency warnings have been downgraded, residents in Rochester are still waiting for water to recede after their second major flood event in less than two years. As the Compaspe River surged and flood water crept into town, residents in Rochester were taken back to October 2022. Pretty one-eyed slope, really, to be honest. Um, we are a bit worried after 15 months ago we copped this. So people have just come back into their houses and you sort of worry, or oh, hopefully they, they're not out again. Blue skies mask the threat of the incoming water below, inundating the Rochester Weir. The uh, flooding that Rochester is being experienced, is experiencing in this event is not so much as a consequence of the water spilling over Lake Epilogue. It's more as a consequence of the water that's flowing into the Compaspe through the tributaries and the, and the creeks and streams that feed the Compaspe that is causing that flooding event that's being experienced now. Here in Rochester, high water levels still pose a threat and residents are being asked to bunker down. But downgraded warnings in Seymour and Ye mean residents there can return home to assess the damage. At least 20 properties have been inundated around Seymour, but emergency services have signalled there could be more. The reason why that number is yet to be confirmed is uh, that the, the, the water needs to uh, recede before the full assessments, those impact assessments can be underway. In just 24 hours, central Victoria saw between 75 and 180 millimetres of rain dumped into the Compaspe and Goulburn rivers. Crazy. Overnight we were like asleep and then we just sort of, like we knew it was going to be raining a bit but we came down and then it was already, the toilet was under, the toilet block down there was already under and then every couple of hours we just kept checking it and it just kept getting higher and we got the evacuation notice but... We were sort of riding it out and lucky we didn't have to go, but some of the town was really flooded. We've understood the really difficult lessons, particularly from the October 2022 floods, and have responded by being prepared. And I want to thank the community for their response as well. SES and emergency services are urging residents in impacted areas to check the Vic emergency website for the most up-to-date information. In Rochester, Holly Edward-Smith for Sky News.